I'm going to try and be quick and to the point with this talk because it's full of code. So I apologize if you don't like code flying past you. I apologize if you don't like writing network code. And I apologize if you don't like cryptography. So <laughs> if you're using Go, you have no excuse not to encrypt absolutely everything you put on the wire. It is trivial to do. We come with HTTPS baked in. It is very easy. As we have a mostly functional language, we are quite capable of just chucking lambdas around like we feel like and writing lovely little clean abstractions for doing web handling. And oh, we can serve TLS. You don't know how much pain there is trying to do that in a lot of C. But in Go, we can just do this. Go off, do it. We can go slightly lower. We, this is very weird because I can't actually see the code there and I never stand in front of a thing normally. We can do TLS, which if you hadn't really thought about it means we're still doing the same stuff you do in HTTPS. Only now, we're only using TCP packets. This yet again is very easy, and I've cleaned up some of the words in this. We need to listen on a port, and we would like to do something with a closure again, because I like closures. Uh, we need a configuration, which means we need a cert and a key. We can write our own clients very easy for doing TLS. Yet again, we need a configuration, we need a cert and a key. Uh, depending on whether or not you actually use trusted root certs, you also need to care about whether the cert that you receive is valid. Yet again, this is just like doing any other bit of networking in the standard library, we dial. I've wrapped it around with this particular function that allows me to pass in a port number and a configuration, but it's exactly very trivial stuff. We can go further. We can bake entirely our own network protocols just using UDP. It is trivially easy to do crypto over UDP. And by trivially easy, I mean, first time I did this in Ruby and did a talk about it, it was 200 lines of code to do it. And Ruby is a very terse language for doing things. Here we have it. Uh, yet again, we can turn everything into a nice little wrapper up. We've got some UDP writing that has to go on. I'm pretending here that UDP has client-server metaphor. It doesn't. Whether we want that or not is our choice. Uh, we have to do a horrible thing called quantizing when we're doing crypto, which means basically we have to make sure our blocks are the right size or people can perform nasty attacks on the last block of our message. Um, apart from that, we need uh, so a source of randomness that we're going to shove in, and then we need to do something with the randomness as part of doing the encryption. It's very easy to do. UDP AES, client. You hardly ever see UDP as described with having a client. Yet again, same basic stuff going on. We want to make a request. We're going to write some stuff on the wire so the other end knows that we're talking to it. We're going to receive something back, and we need to decrypt it. The point with AES, of course, is we have a shared key between the two sides. I'm not talking about how you get the key there. That's a key management problem, not a crypto problem. Um, decrypting is pretty much the reverse of doing encrypting which means there's also somewhere lurking over there. There's a whole dequantized method uh, and some unpacking going on. RSA. There is no good reason for using RSA over UDP because UDP backets are too short, but it makes a lovely example of how easy it is to do RSA. So, yet again, we can serve stuff with RSA just as easily as with, U, uh, with AES. But you'll notice something. With the AES, it was more difficult to write the, slightly more difficult to write the server than the client, but not a lot. With RSA, it's trivial to write the server. It's considerably more painful to write the client. But this is still fitting into two columns on a rather large print slide. That's pretty much everything there is to know about doing crypto over connections in Go. If you're not now doing it, download the first chapter of my book, which gets you to Hello World in RSA over UDP in 60 pages. It costs you nothing. And then you can go and write secure infrastructure for your microservices. Thank you.